In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a chest or wall tuck. Um, tuck helps with scapular elevation, shoulder elevation, trap engagement. Um, it's very upper body dominant. You can't really correct with your lower body. That's what makes it so hard and heavy, um, especially on the uh, upper back. Um, so the main things you want with the tuck is to have the shoulders stacked on top of the wrists. Um, and you want the hips on top of the shoulders with a posterior pelvic tilt. So I'll show you what I mean. Coming up from the wall, and you're the judge of this, so you need to go as far away from the wall um, or as close to the wall as you can whilst bringing the tops of the toes down. So for this one, tuck up and down, they're different. You have the knees on the wall, but for this exercise, we're going to have the tops of the toes on the wall and the knees off. So from here, shoulders stacked on top of the wrist, so I'm not planching or I'm not overarching. They're stacked on top of the wrists. My hips are on top of the shoulders. And here, that's not a posterior pelvic tilt. I'm arching. It's an anterior pelvic tilt, really. So to fix that, I need to suck my ribs into the hips. Tuck my butt in, squeeze the knees together. And as I'm coming down, my tops of the toes are on the wall, shoulders are stacked. And I'm just holding this position. If you have trouble trying to keep the shoulders or trying to stop the shoulders from leaning over, then a good indicator to do for this is to bring the ears in line with the bicep and to hold that position. So the ears in line with the bicep just helps bring the shoulders back on top of the hips because the neck is obviously still part of the spine and if you have this neck sticking out a bit, the spine will just follow with it.